Arise, awake, and stop not till the goal is reached was the Guru Mantra given by Swami Vivekanand to the youth of this nation. Today, I would like to reconstruct my speech on this Guru Mantra as it serves to be a guideline for the youth for participation and strengthening of democracy. A very warm welcome to everyone. Today, I, Shubhankar Pandit Rao, a young leader from the vibrant state of Gujarat, would like to voice my opinion on youth leadership in politics. Rhetoric or reality? Sisters and brothers, arise from the apathy that has blocked our review of this democracy. Today, the average age of a member of parliament is 54 years old, while that of the entire nation is 28 years old. Hence, when issues such as sex education, sex status, mental health education, etc. are stated in the parliament, they are deemed to be sensitive. But with a close review of young educational institutions like school, colleges and gatherings like these, we might understand that the youth is well versed on all these topics. So this proves to be a great example that if youth is provided with opportunities in the legislative bodies, not only will their voices be heard, but it would serve to be an aspirational base for an all-inclusive democracy for India at 2047. Sisters and brothers, awake from the malice of the politics that have closed our eyes. Today, our participation has been discouraged because of the wryly nature of dishonest politics and money power, which are not only incompetent in nature, but a slap on the face to meritocracy. So now, do we want to just sit and be complainers or become change makers? There are numerous ways to enter the political landscape, from conducting social media campaigns to raising your voices for meaningful changes. Sisters and brothers, stop not till the goal is reached. We are the ones who have witnessed the implications of poverty, hunger, climate change, and exclusion of technology. And it is our time to storm into the corridors of system and make our voices heard on the principle of nothing about us without us. I would like to remind this gathering the noble words of Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar. However good a constitution may be, it might turn out to be bad if the people who are called to work upon it happen to be a bad lot. However bad a constitution may be, it might turn out to be good if the people who are called to work upon it happen to be a good lot. Now it is in our hands for the transformation from rhetoric or reality to rhetoric to reality. Thank you. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.